All right. So what is sommelier? Is my slides working? There we go. All right. Fixing. There we go. All right. Sommelier. Sommelier is an on-chain asset manager. So what is an on-chain asset manager? Why do you need an on-chain asset manager? Uh, we'll cover a little bit in this talk. And like, sort of the theme of this talk is, Sommelier has been running for a while. Uh, it's been managing a significant amount of money. It provides a significant amount of liquidity for assets that you love, for assets that you use, um, for DeFi protocols that are hot. Um, but very few people seem to know about Sommelier. Uh, I'm somewhat famous for other things. Um, so why did we build Sommelier? Um, we built Sommelier because DeFi protocols were getting more and more complicated. Um, this started in 2021. Uh, things like Uniswap v3 launched. DeFi became a lot less accessible. Everybody loved DeFi Summer, uh, when you know you could just you know join a protocol, earn farming rewards, uh, didn't have to think too much. Uh, but now protocols have become really complex. Um, so what has Sommelier become? Sommelier has become a very accessible, easy, uh, use it or, like you know just one click and then forget about it uh, way to access DeFi, uh, way to access uh, sustainable yields without having to uh, manage your DeFi positions and for DeFi to be your full-time job. Um, so what are the cool things about Sommelier? Um, Sommelier is, the, uh, is one of the, uh, is like the largest liquidity manager for wrapped stake ETH. Um, so you know, if you were tra tra uh, uh, trading in and out of a wrapped stake ETH position, you were probably using uh, Uniswap v3 liquidity powered by Sommelier. Um, we are one of the largest users of, of Morpho's borrowing protocol. We power an enormous amount of uh, leverage staking through Morpho. Uh, we've been a great user of their protocol. Um, Sommelier has a, has a strategy that has been generating 6.8% Bitcoin-denominated yield on WBTC um, for more than a year. And we have our flagship strategy, does 15% ETH yield, also been running for more than a year. Most All of these things manage tens of millions of dollars. Um, we have 23 strategies running across OP, Arbitrum, and ETH, um, and we have 70 million in TVL. Um, and basically, I expect as soon as the eigenlayer uh, ETH black hole uh, finally uh, turns into a token emission, uh, we will see, see a substantial amount of growth, um, and we are like sort of expanding pretty heavily into real-world assets, uh, liquid restaking tokens, other L2s. Uh, all of these things I've been, you know, continuing to build. Um, so Sommelier was founded by myself and my co-founder, Christy. Um, and Christy comes from a TradFi background. Um, and basically what we wanted to do, again, is the other thing that we've seen, right, is these yield platforms have all existed. Like, hey, come here, there's been BlockFi, there's been Celsius, there have been all kinds of things that blew up and lost everyone's money. How do we build a protocol that can't rug? Um, that's always been the goal. So we, right now, we run sort of the best yield optimizer for ETH on, in the market, running the like, uh, uh, like sort of most effective strategy. One of the cool things about real yield ETH is if we launch another strategy on the platform that's actually earning more ETH-denominated yield than the current real yield ETH strategy, real yield ETH can just allocate into it. So it's, again, it's been an incredibly popular uh, product for both you know, small players and big players. Um, because of this fact that, like, you don't have to manage it. Um, it has been battle-tested through, you know, multiple growth and, and collapses, um, and it is an extremely battle-tested uh, platform at this point. And you have, you know, you can withdraw any time. There's no withdrawal fees, um, and all of these fees are, all of these yields are net of, uh, of, uh, uh, net of, of the platform and strategist fees. So again, best-in-class yields. So. The other thing that's cool, you know, so Ethereum coprocessors are pretty hot right now. Um, Sommelier has been an Ethereum coprocessor in production for basically a year. Um, so how does Sommelier work? Sommelier has a, a layer one Cosmos blockchain, but if you're a user, you never see this. You interact with, with Sommelier from Ethereum, from Arbitrum, from Optimism, and an ever-expanding set of layer twos. What Sommelier does is we use the Cosmos chain to validate every update that a strategist wants to do. So strategists have, so in order to achieve these best in class yields, you do need active management. But how do you have active management that doesn't recreate 
TradFi? How do you have active management that is decentralized, where the protection of the user is built into the protocol? So for instance, um, you know, so anytime a strategist wants to do anything, take a new position, uh, use a new asset, they have to go through the sommelier blockchain and sommelier validator set. Um, and this provides an enormous degree of protection for the user. Um, so for instance, like, so every validator kind of gets a say in, uh, and is, is running this reference application that we call steward that checks uh, uh, any trade that, a validate, that the strategist wants to do. We also have this, uh, 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 this thing where uh, SOM token holders vote in governance anytime a strategist wants to add a new asset, add a new position. So let's say uh, real yield ETH suddenly wants to like hold uh, a new, stable, uh, new liquid staking token, like Diva's launching. That all would have to go through sommelier governance. It gives adequate notice to anyone who's participating in the strategy, giving them the opportunity to exit, and like a lot of like ongoing protection. The other thing that's nice about this is, again, if the, if the strategist disappears, like let's say the strategist goes out of business, uh, you know, there's a boating accident, Dubai floods, who knows, right? What will happen is uh, the validator set can actually st uh, uh, step in, move the, uh, uh, the entire strategy into a liquid, safe, low-risk position, and then people can withdraw uh, uh, at their leisure. Um, and this model has worked, you know, people have lots, have had many, there's been a lot of skepticism before this thing was live about whether or not this worked, would it get MEV'd to death, would we be uh, able to be competitive? Instead, we've been, you know, using this model, uh, one of the most effective LPs in a lot of high value assets, we've been very competitive uh, from yields, we haven't been MEV'd out of existence, um, it's, there's been large sustainable arbitrages that we've been able to capture. So, Sommelier's vaults, super easy. They do all of this behind the scenes. They predict the strategist runs off-chain code. There is off-chain alpha powering all of these strategies. Um, they react to market changes. So, you know, we've been through all kinds of Black Swan events from the USDC DPEG um, to, you know, like Curve almost getting liquidated, all of these things. Um, our, our strategies have all been able to react in a very timely manner uh, to changing market conditions and risk. Um, and we do incredibly sophisticated optimizations through this off-chain computation that can be then executed on-chain, allowing us to be a very effective liquidity provider. Um, the reality of why this should exist is the whole point of DeFi was to, like, com was to change the nature of asset management. But I think so, many, so much of what happens in DeFi now is a traditional fund structure where you have you know, people raising hedge funds, et cetera, in traditional structures participating in DeFi. There was no point in building DeFi in my mind to just rearrange the deck chairs on the Titanic. Instead, what we want to do is bring all of asset management on chain. And I think what we've demonstrated over the last year with you know, the millions and millions of dollars of yields that we've generated for our users is that Sommelier can actually be a very compelling, like this strategy of, of fully on-chain asset management can like, take advantage of yield opportunities that are that exists throughout the sort of DeFi ecosystem um, and continue to adapt to changing market conditions. So I imagine that there is a future where like the large, a large section of the entire asset management space has moved on chain. Um, yeah, so best in class yields, great value proposition for our users. This is why our capital has been incredibly sticky. Um, and while you know, there will be always kind of short term fads uh, uh, in the farming market, I think sommelier is a very sustainable strategy that you know, many people will continue to allocate into. Um, another thing that has been like a big thing for us is that uh, we recently integrated Axelar um, into, so sommelier launched, we had our own bridge design that we uh, had like, brought to production. That bridge design uh, only got us to ETH mainnet. We integrated Axelar recently, um, and Axelar allows us to now have strategies across everywhere that Axelar goes. Um, so we are sort of scaling out to all of the ETH L2s through Axor. Another cool thing about SOM, SOM is uh, there's actually strong value alignment between the token and the, the vault users. So again, as I was saying, um, there, are, uh, there, there are, as I was saying, there are lots of, opportun there are, uh, you know, lots of people who use the vault don't need to know about the Cosmos chain, but there are also you know, thousands and thousands of people who are staking SOM. Um, when they stake SOM, 
what happens is that the fixed supply token, cir circulating supply is about 288 million. Um, you use it for gas fees, you use it for governance, you stake it to secure the Solana blockchain. Um, but like one of the coolest features is the fee auction. Um, the fee auction is, uh, is, so about 20 ETH in fees every month um, flows back into the protocol. And every month we auction those 20 ETH for SOM. Um, and that SOM then go, it goes to power staking rewards. So SOM has about a 12% APY, and about half of that is coming from staking rewards, and half of it is coming from a grant from the community pool. It's very unique in the Cosmos ecosystem. I think it's very unique in the sort of app chain world. But like one of the cool things about app chains is that you can use that infrastructure to distribute rewards to you know, tens of thousands of people. So what's next for Sommelier? Um, so we are continuing to evolve um, as, a, as, a, as a protocol, um, we are becoming an eigenware AVS in partnership with Ethos. So maybe I could expand a little bit on what that means. So I think like one of the biggest challenges Sommelier has had is that when we launched, there was no way of building something like this in an ETH native ecosystem. The only way to do it is sort of this fusion of Cosmos and Ethereum um, that we've been sort of operating for a while. But as a result, SOM mostly trades on osmosis. Um, people feel the SOM, like the SOM asset sort of feels like a Cosmos asset, even though the SOM user base is primarily an ETH user base. Um, in many ways, Eigenware feels like the missing piece that we've been looking for for many years. Um, a, an ETH native way um, to connect the SOM protocol and the SOM validator set and the essential functions for user safety that those, people, that those uh, uh, pieces provide with the Ethereum community, the main users of our assets. Uh, and like, frankly, we are a huge provider for, um, we are a huge provider of sort of, uh, sort of DeFi bootstrapping capabilities for uh, a wide variety of ETH, li like liquid staking tokens, liquid restaking tokens, et cetera. So that model of how do we get the, um, uh, is sort of unlocked by becoming, by working on becoming an Eigenware AVS. Um, so we'll move from a model where SOM is staked to, uh, to secure to the chain, where instead we are taking restaked ETH, um, and ETH validators are securing the chain, um, and we're, we're, we're partnering with Ethos um, to, uh, to sort of make that happen. It's extremely exciting. Another thing that we're seeing is actually one of the cool things about having a crypto native asset manager is that the model of what crypto native asset management can be actually is bigger than like traditional asset managers. So like, cause, you know, we have these uh, yield tokens that we've had for a long time. Um, there's some utility, there's a few lending markets, et cetera, for things like real yield ETH. But one of the things that's nice is, or like one of the things that's very exciting is like, so we've seen Blast, right? Blast has pioneered this idea of of uh, sort of native yield, right? Where you, rather than like go buy a yield, go get a yield bearing token from Yearn, et cetera, uh, Yearn, SOM, et cetera, you can have native yield just come into the, uh, you get native yield just by bridging into the protocol. This idea is actually very extensible and can be easily powered by Sommelier. Um, we're working with teams like Hyperlane to sort of enable this as like an out of the box experience if you're building a roll up. Um, but like, what it would mean is we move from a model where it's like you come to app.sommelier.finance um, and you like stake and like you pick a strategy to engage with to a rollup can say, hey, we just want all of the USDC or stable coins that are flowing through into our protocol to immediately become yield bearing. And so when people bridge any stable coin, can immediately go into one of our stable coin strategies. When people bridge ETH into your rollup, it can immediately go into one of our ETH build. So, and when people withdraw, they immediately are claiming back uh, the accrued yield. So again, this idea of being able to like, participate in roll-ups, and this is to me like, this is the, what is the most exciting for, um, uh, one of the most exciting pieces for all of, for like the idea of crypto native digital asset management. Again, you can do things that are tr completely sort of inconceivable in the TradFi world. Um, where you are just natively earning yield while using you know, sets of applications, buying NFTs, et cetera. I think the other thing that's uh, been really cool about the evolution of Sommelier is that most of the, like, as we like, sort of go into this uh, world of new asset issuance that's happening, 
most new assets that are issued are actually starting to start thinking about sommelier strategies from the beginning. So if you're issuing a liquid restaking token, if you're issuing a real world asset, having a sommelier strategy is a natural way to both give better yields to your sort of uh, non-expert users, and it is, is a way of uh, bootstrapping a DeFi ecosystem, because sommelier will immediately start doing lending, borrowing, mark, like LPing on DEXs, et cetera, with the assets that are deposited into the strategy. So this, these two areas, or like all of these areas of future expansion are actually really exciting. Um, we have a long way to go. We've been building for, you know, we've been building sommelier since 2021, um, and I'm very excited for what the future brings. So thank you very much.